What's up, what's up? <clears throat> I have an iPhone 6S Plus here with, you can see, half backlight, alright? <clears throat> and I just made an iPhone 7 Plus video on this, but uh, I think it needs some more attention because I think a lot of people are probably going to be confused about these repairs here. Uh, pretty straightforward, right? I mean, listen. Right? What's there to talk about, right? It's a, it's a half backlight. Can you even see this? Yeah. Can you see the half backlight? I mean, there's a tape up here, but it's half backlight. All right. It's a little bit dark over here. You see it? Okay. All right. So let's look at it under a microscope. All right. Under the microscope. All right. Um. Okay. So <clears throat> if you've done one of these before, then you know that the 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 backlight filter is here. The anode backlight filter. That's one of them right here. And this usually blows the, the pieces and, uh, you know, turns black, gets welded to the pads, and, and you have to run a jumper sometimes from here all the way to the backlight cap. Uh, so this is one set. This is this is one of the backlight systems here. And the other backlight system is down here. Okay. And usually this filter sometimes blows as well. All right. But looking at this, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. This filter is fine. This filter looks fine. Um, so one way to determine very very quickly is diode mode. Diode mode, uh, the top three pins and the bottom three pins. Okay, so these first two pins are going to be your cat cathode lines. So this is 0.614, red to ground, black to the pin. 0.615 and 0.534. All right, that tells me that all three of these lines are fine. And visually, you can take a look as well, and and you can see that you know it looks fine. And then you know the bottom three, 616. 616 and 536. All right. So instantly right there, that tells me that the backlight system is fine. The filter's not blown or anything. And uh, so what's the problem, right? I mean, I think a lot of times, I think uh, people will probably just replace. And th this is what I did early on too. You know, um, I just replaced this filter and said, hey, you know, it's got to be the filter, right? But it's not the filter, all right? Um, and so what's the problem? The problem. Uh, the problem is this pin right here. I can I can already see it. Um, for some reason, I think I think it's probably how long these connectors are. But this this pin right here is pushed in a little bit. And the fix for this is just push at a 45 degree angle, right like that. You don't want to break the connector, but you can see a little bit pop out now. You know. And uh, that's it, really. I mean, that's that's your fix right there, right? You know, I mean, I I would venture to guess that some people probably even go as far as replacing the backlight IC and uh, you know the diodes and all that garbage and and maybe even the connector. And they're like, what the hell, man? And I you know I guarantee you that I sent a few phones back uh, a while back in the days, maybe like months ago, and saying I couldn't fix it because. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with it, you know, after replacing everything. Truth again. Voila. Backlight has been restored. <coughs> oh, this cold is killing me. So that's it. That's a very, very easy fix. Um, yeah. Learn, I guess. Otherwise, you're going to suffer. Uh, a lot of lots of wasted time. Otherwise, all right. Just so understand how things work and uh, fixes become a lot easier. All right, who so? What's up? What's up? <clears throat> I just wanted to talk a little bit about this uh, online micro soldering course that we have. We have combined. So basically, we have four courses uh, starting from the basics to how to use the XW tools dongle. Which is the schematic software, and we have um, we have a course called Backlight Touch Charge, which deals with the three most common repairs, and then our last course is Data Recovery. And what we did was we combined all these courses into one one full curriculum, and um, and uh, so basically it's just all four courses combined into one, and we are selling it as a full course here on the website. And if you want to learn micro soldering, um, I would say that this is probably the best way to start. And um uh so if you want to buy it, you know, we 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 have it hosted at udemy.com and the best way to do it is just go to microsoldering.com, click on store and and then click on the full curriculum. 
and from there, uh, you, you can watch some some previews and some uh, int in intros to these videos, and uh, it'll give you an idea if you wanna if you wanna uh, buy it or not. And you know, if you have any questions, you can always email support at microsoldering.com, and we will help you. Um, so, if you want to learn how, if you want to learn micro soldering, this is this is the course to get. All right, thanks.